Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collect here with another action figure review, and here we have the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness figure, uh, Defender Strange, and this is from the movie actually. I thought it was like a little comic version of it when I first saw this figure, but no, after I saw the trailer I was like, oh, no, that's an actual variant of Doctor Strange. So, uh, yeah, let's go over to packaging. So first we get the Marvel Legends logo here on top, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness uh, logo here, Defender Strange. Here is a cider of uh, Defender Strange right there. Here's the back with that same cider. And if you guys want to pause and read that, you can. Marvel Legends logo here in the corner. Same artwork there. Top with the Doctor Strange logo furnished on top. And then here is the bond with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Defender Strange out of the package here. So let's go over the accessories first. So first we got a left fisted hand here with the brown gloves with the red on the forearm there. Looks pretty cool. <clears throat> and then we got like a relaxed or grabbing hand for something with the same like texturing coloring there. And then we got the portal piece here with this transparent uh, or like orange plastic here with all the swirls going around it. And then you get more of the yellow paint job going as you get further down. You get all that like flame effect there that is pretty cool down there. It's pretty flat here so you can get it to stay level. And as you can see, you can kind of get it to look like you're coming out of a portal, which is pretty cool. And here's the other side of it if you want to see what that looks like. This will be a pretty cool piece for, uh, for your display. I kind of got this because of this and the figure. I think the figure looks pretty cool, to be honest. So yeah, there's the accessories. So that's all we got for that. So here is Defender Strange up close. So here is the head sculpt for him. So it looks exactly like Benedict Cumberbatch. The only thing that I will say is that I think from the trailers that I've seen, he has more of a bearded look, like more bearded than he actually does in the Doctor Strange, like the normal version, instead of like a more like less like more of a clean goatee look, I guess. And then you get the long ponytail there in the back with the gray on the sides of his hair. Nice brown hair there, like I said, ponytail. And you get this really cool outfit for him actually, which I like a lot. You get the red with like that symbol that he usually has with the red outlining there. A lot of texturing going on around the sleeves, torso, and you get the collar there. Here's the back. The back is even painted and textured too. And then here are the forearms with the gloves. So yeah, you get the red there for the forearm and the brown there. And then you get like the spell casting hands for that hand there. Like a partial spider web and Spider-Man sign there. And then here's the one with that same kind of spell going on there, spell hand. And then here you got like this little ribbon piece here for his belt, which is pretty cool. And you get like the skirt piece here with some red, some wrinkles going on there, more texture, more red detailing there along the trim of the skirt area. And then you got the pants here, which are just gray. And you get the boots with the red there, some red on the like four foot part near the ankle. So yeah, and then uh, we get the pinless joints for his elbow and knees, so that's cool. And uh, next we'll go over the articulation. So his head, he has a double ball jointed head, so you can look down that far, up that far, left and right. A uh, lot of hip hitting, swivel. And yeah, shoulders can move out that far, which is really cool. 360 rotation, although the... You can do it, but it's going to be a little difficult. You kind of have to push the arm out a little bit because of this piece on the shoulder. Uh, it slants a bit. So and you got bicep swivel there, double jointed elbows, which goes way past 90 degrees. So that's awesome. And then ankles, I mean, uh, wrist can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation there. And then you got a ball joint at the diaphragm that goes down that far, back that far, side to side motion, twisting. You also got a waist swivel for him too, so you can also do a 360 rotation around that. And then legs can kick out to the side just that far, not a whole lot of movement because of the skirt piece. Forward not that much because of the skirt piece also, backwards not, same deal. Thigh cut, double jointed knees. And then a 
boot cut there actually. Ankles can edge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. So yeah, that's the Defender Strange figure for you. Um, so yeah, I think it's a pretty cool figure. I really like the design and everything for him. Like I said, uh, just the like the facial hair is just not quite as I as it looked in the trailers at least. I kind of like the more you know scruffy looking look to him in the trailer than he does in this. Um, and then yeah, I, I like the fact that they added a portal to this because that's kind of a piece that a lot of people are, I think are just gonna go for I think for this. Uh, the figure is pretty cool, though, I'm not going to lie. Like, it has a lot of articulation, whereas the other Dr. Strange figures, they don't have a whole lot compared to this. Um, and, yeah, it has, a, like, a lot of design details and everything. So I recommend you actually get it. It's pretty cool. Like I said, and also, like, we haven't seen the movie. So he might be a pretty badass character in the movie. So if you do see it and you do like this character and you want to get the figure and you miss out then it's kind of like i recommend you get him he's a pretty cool figure like i said though but besides that that's all i got um but if you guys want to help support me on my other accounts like twitch tiktok instagram all that stuff's gonna be in my link tree in my description um if you guys want a more brief um review on this guy go ahead and check my tiktok because i do reviews on this they're just shorter um more like um to the point so yeah but besides that thanks for watching